This video is going to be breaking down a little inside the mind on the dollar defense of ebook as well as the uh, I believe I'm actually going to be doing some kind of fun stuff out of trips or U trips out of the Pat's book. And if you guys want to get these full offensive and defensive ebooks, they're available by becoming members of my school.com uh, community page. I'll leave a link in the description to uh, to that. I think it's one of the best ways in Madden that you can become better at this game uh, just because it gives you access to not only all of the knowledge that you need, as well as the system behind it to be able to drive the results that you might want to get. So, uh, again, if you want to get access to all of that stuff, that is going to be down in the description down below. All right, so uh, starting out in dollar, and I really like one of the biggest things, one of the biggest reasons why dollar is so good is because it can literally handle everything. Um, you have every coverage option pretty much that you could ever want. It is a symmetrical formation, uh, which is super, super important. What that means for you is it is going to be able to essentially always be in a position of strength for you. It's also if you can if you can stop the run out of dollar, it provides you with the with the uh, the most amount of coverage options that you could ever need, which is which is why dollar is so good every every single year. All right, so I'm gonna be in trips just for fun here. Uh, you could run some U trips out of this as well. Again, I have both ebooks on uh, the Patreon, or uh, actually no, School.com. I keep saying that. I don't know why I keep saying that today. Um, and of course, we throw a pick first play out of a run commit, which is awesome. I can't believe I just did that. And uh, let's go ahead and get back into defense. So uh, dollar is really good, especially if they want to be uh, heavy passers. As you can see, one of my favorite things to do against the heavy passers, especially these spread out sets. So here's just a general principle that I think it, it does apply pretty much every single year. Spread sets like five wide, trips tight in, U trips, they tend to struggle with pressure and they tend to struggle with man coverage. Compressed sets such as bunch, tight, tight slots, bunch strong, bunch strong offset, anything like that that's like a compressed set, they tend to be defended better when utilizing either a hybrid coverage or uh, typically like zone coverage as a base, okay? So just as a general principle. Okay, so let's see uh, how he wants to play play ball here today. Because that first play was really random. They just ran commit his whole team. And I'm going to be doing some fun stuff out of trips today. So this is like uh, this is like something I like to do. Uh, I think if you can learn how to do this, this is a great exercise. It's also really good if you if like I've always wanted to play offense like this pretty much full time because it's really, really good. So what you can do is utilize your spacing of trips to kind of create some really fun route combinations that are super effective and really space. The reason I like trips tied in and, and I think what makes trips good is it's spacing. It has very good horizontal spacing. The way the formation is laid out, you're able to space the field in a variety of different methods. And it allows you to create route combos you really can't put from other formations, for, uh, such, as, such as bunch or tight, uh, for example. This, this kind of combo right here is one of them that I really like. So let's take a look at how this works out for us. And you see it is how it spaces the field real well. And of course, I say that, and we're going to have a terrible rep, and Brady's going to be Brady and do some weird stuff. But this is, qu this is quite the slobber knocker of a game here. All right, so now we're going to get into some of my fun combos. So you can do stuff like this. Like, this is a really cool uh, route combination that just allows you to be able to space the field horizontal. It's really, really good. Again, zone coverage now. Pretty much in general now with trips, especially when we talk about how trips can struggle against man. This is why you want to run your trips to the wide side of the field for the most part, right, for the most part. So here, see how, see how, I mean, this is just going to really space out. And it just puts defenders in a lot of conflict, right? You can, the you know, in general, this is a general principle that I tell people all the time. Offenses, their whole goal is to try to create space. Defense's whole goal, really, if you think about it, is, is to try to constrain the most amount of space possible. That's, in, that's kind of a general rule of thumb for offense and defense, right? 
Let me see what we can get here. Going to get that nice tight end route. Brady's going to throw the ball into the third row. And we're going to get stopped. That's just fantastic. All right, so let's go play some defense. So far, defense has been has not been the issue. Um, okay. So this is one of my favorite ways to play run defense at a dollar, just pinch the D-line. Of course, I'm going to give that up because I'm a step behind. The user in this game is really rough. So what you can do with dollar, there's just so many options. That's why I like it. Like, there's so many ways to play defense out of dollar. Like, you can play backed off coverage. You could play press coverage. You could play pinch D-line crash inside. Um, there's just so many methods, uh, and I think that's what makes it a super good defense. I wish my user would stop getting caught at the line of scrimmage, and we get a free crosser every five, every every play so far. Now, when I do get out in the red zone, I like to go to 6-1. The cool part is it's already set up for you. You have the 20-yard purples, which is really good for 6-1. And uh, we should be able to play pretty good defense, even though – even yeah, see – and the, that's that's what six one does. Uh, six one shuts down the run. So if they want to run the ball and they want to come out in these heavy sets, honestly, just get in six one and you'll be fine. Like you'll be fine against pretty much everything that they do. And sometimes they'll break a run, but in general, like it's a good strategy to be in six one against heavy run sets. So and then once you're able to take that away, uh, basically they have to pass at that point. Let's see if he snaps. It. This this guy. See if he snaps up. But the pinch, the pinch defensive line, crash defensive line inside out of 6-1 really prevents the majority of runs because you can shoot the stretches, and it really protects your user down here in these, like, heavy sets. So pinch, crash down, man up. And then I like to go through and purple the safeties. But you see, see, how, it, see, see how I can shoot that? And then there we kind of get a lucky strip, and we get the ball back. All right, let's see if the offense can stop selling us because the defense has been has been uh, rock solid. If you guys don't have the dollar defensive guide, uh, you get access to both dollar six one all of them. Uh, you get access to everything over there for just ten dollars, uh, and the link to sign up for that is going to be down below. So again, as I said, trip side in. What I really like about the formation is it just spaces the field really well, like like really well. So like a, a combo like this, for example. There's so many quick hitting routes. Like if he wants to, to blitz, I find trips tied in to a degree struggles with the blitz. But honestly, as much I would say trips tied in is way more equipped to be able to attack the blitz than dollar or uh, than bunch would be, for example, because you have that spacing, that spread. And so the routes just get open quick. It's hard to use or everything. Right. It's, it's hard to use or everything in in uh, trips. All right, so let's go to this. So I like doubles in sale. One of the things he's doing is he's kind of blitzing out of cover zero a lot. So one of my favorite route combos um, to kind of counter that would be something like this. You can see here he has to go to there. Brady, Brady's kind of killing me right now. All right, let's see if we can get a first down on offense. So now he's showing zone for some reason. I don't know why he would go to zone after he's had some success with man. And he gives that up. And Revis makes the play of the year. I'm going to let him score because my offense has to be better than, than, than that. So right there, the vertical hook normally sucks inside a little bit more than it did right there. And he did ultimately get the pick. So that's kind of interesting. But um, – yeah, there you see the defense. That's why you pinch crash down right there. It's like if they're going to run the ball, you pinch your D-line, you crash your D-line down. If you want to spread your linebackers, go for it. But the biggest thing is it's going to free up your user and allow you to shoot the outside runs. And obviously you got four hogs in the middle to be able to stop the interior runs. And again, because this guy's kind of running some of the weirdest defenses I've seen all year, um, you know, kind of being a little bit of a challenge to – to get going here. I'm going to go to this setup. And again, I just like the way I just really like the way the, the formation kind of spreads the field. And we're now we're going to D-line user. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we have a D-line user? Why wouldn't we? All right, let's just start dotting up. So another thing that you have in this formation is there's three different ways we can flood. 
So one of my favorite ways to do it is really this, especially if they're playing off coverage. And then what this allows us to do is maybe kind of play. We could kind of play some games over here on the right side, as you see. And hopefully we'll actually be able to catch the ball. Awesome. But there's so many ways uh, to attack with trips. So like here, now we're going to do this combo, you know, which I really like as well. And now the other guy is going to flood it. So you see that? So there's like three different methods for flooding the sideline to the right. There's many methods to flooding the sideline to the left. Like if they're going to play cover three consistently on us, one of my favorite plays is this drive post with the streak to the running back. And then we'll go with this combo. And again, this is what I'm talking about. It just spaces the field really well. There's a lot of spacing on this play. He actually ends up going to man coverage is kind of unfortunate and this Phillips card is insane I don't know why he's able to do this this should never be allowed in Madden ever but for some reason EA literally just made kind of some silly decisions this year and we've got a nice little big fat guy running through the a gap every five seconds <sighs> all right P a counter go another way you can flood a sideline um, let's see if we double team this guy. I have secure protectors on my line, by the way. I don't know why they're not blocking him. Be nice if they did. So there he actually played a good D. And we're gonna throw a pick almost, but I'm gonna use or catch it. Yeah, this is this is the weirdest defense I've ever played. I think this is see, these are these big nickel over G guys, man. These big nickel over G guys, they just do weird stuff. Now I can't audible, I'm completely froze. Knew that was going to be open, so we just take that. All right, let's reset. <laughs> let's reset. Let's reset offensively because that was wild. All right, let's let's get it. Let's get let's let's call a real offense here. All right, so he's running so much man coverage, right? So we're going to go to this. See if we can't catch him. This is a really good play for man. And then we didn't get the job done. We almost threw a pick. Wow. Death by humans, or whatever this guy's name is, is very apropos for how he plays Madden. And you can tell I have not gotten a lot of reps and trips tied in because I think I had everybody open on that play and I just decided not to throw them the ball. All right, Pat's why post. Let's see if we can throw the tight end post for a touchdown. All right. What is he doing? <laughs> this is some weird stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen someone play defense like this. This is the weirdest. This is probably the weirdest defense I've ever played. <laughs> and the crazy part is the most basic stuff would beat it, and I'm just trying to call random or just trying to call different things. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's actually get a first down here. Let's see if we can get a first down. I was trying to show you guys some cool stuff with like horizontal spacing and whatnot. And at the end of the day, we're playing my man Brave Comet, who's running the most random man defense I've ever seen. And Slant Post, Old Faithful, comes through. <laughs> All right, so we're up 9 to 6. We do get ball half, so we're fine. He's just playing so weird. I've just never played somebody that comes out and I mean they're just weird play calls and I, he's got like a deep half that's coming from the trip side I don't know I don't know sometimes they just do stuff like that but that's you know that's why you play head-to-head -head, because you you literally get to see everything they can do I actually really like this defense for tr for uh, five wide of course I say that and Kyle Pitts gets absolutely destroyed oh buddy All right, now we're out in the right play. Send four. Yeah, that didn't go very well for me. Awesome. And he scored. I don't know how he just scored. Oh, <laughs> oh these are the people. Ah, these are the people, man. And we're going to go for it. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? It worked so well the first time. So now we're going to go for it because why wouldn't we? 
and we're gonna stop it because we're that good. That's so that's so frustrating. Like this guy. Ugh, this guy has everything wrong with head-to-head -head seasons. The only thing that would make him worse is if he had Vanguard on everybody on his team, like everybody else that I play in head-to-head -head does. Head-to-head -head is a bad place right now in my it's just not the place. It's just not the thing to do. You know, go play regs. Honestly, at this point in the year, just go play regs. All roads continue to lead to regs at the end of the year. Okay, so in a shocking turn of events, we have a desync. <laughs> All right, we'll get into game two and we'll break that down for you. Brothers, in a wild turn of events, here in game two, I'm playing I Am Cheesy. As if the first game wasn't bad enough, we're now playing a Broncos fan in the Eagles stadium who kicks the ball into the third row, and his name is I Am Cheesy. But it's going to be a fun one, boys. All right, so uh, we're not going to really mess around this game. We're actually going to try to score because um, last game that didn't go too well for us. We were actually in a weird position where we almost could have been in trouble. So I am cheesy. Again, this ebook's on the, the school.com. We have um, what I was trying to do the first game, what I'm going to try to do this game is a little bit more like under, like short, th short dots, baby dots. We have uh, in the actual ebooks. It has one play touchdowns. It has power plays. It has everything. I'm just kind of messing around a little bit with this, honestly, just for fun, right? Just for fun, uh, because we. Uh, this is like one of my favorite ways to pass. So anyway, this this play right here is one of my favorite plays of all time in Madden. Let's see if it works. So I'm gonna look out there to the left side. He's gonna play man coverage. Of course, he's gonna play man coverage. I'm gonna throw that tight end post. Boom, one of one. 21 yards, and we're off to a great start. I don't know why people are playing man coverage in Madden, but okay. So he's going to play some man coverage. Um, there's a couple of different ways we could manipulate this. I'm going to go to this setup. This is one of my – so a decent play. Uh, it just kind of depends on how he's playing, and we throw a D-line pick. Okay, boys, I am cheesy. Out here with the cover zero meta. Look at this. Screaming at me. Throwing a touchdown. And we just can't get it done. And just like our last opponent, he's going to go for it. Because why wouldn't you when you are cheesy? And he's going to run the most random route combo I've ever seen. Scramble out with Michael Vick. Throw right at my user and catch the ball. We're off to a fantastic start here in game two. Playing our boy, I am cheesy, out here cheesing and running random plays. Love when I play random plays. Just makes Madden just that much more fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can score. Okay, so because we're playing I am cheesy, we are actually going to put some plays together because... I don't want to have to play this. I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is the double safety defense. Okay, so he's going to run man. Probably he's going to man blitz me. All right, we're going to have to <laughs> we're going to have to figure something out. Um, let's go. We're not going to be able to show you the cool dots against zone because he's going to do this all game. Oh, he actually called zone. Nice defense. Ah. Oh. Let's see if he blitzes me. Big Parham with a big big catch in a big situation. That's why you get big Parham. All right. So he's running so his default is basically man. And then from there, he kind of gets, he kind of adjusts from there. So we can kind of play games with that running back on the left. I really want to run this play. That's actually, I should be in Bills. The Bills trips is so much better. I was thinking I might run U trips, but I didn't. All right, so we're going to go to this setup. Is he showing any kind of pressure? It's really not, but I'm going to block this guy anyway because I don't want to get blitzed. 
Let's throw right at his user. Ow! Uh, I thought I could get it over his head. Two pick sixes against my man Cheesy. They're gonna write us. They're gonna write about us in the papers, boys. They're gonna write about us in the papers. People aren't gonna believe what just happened. Here we go. Cover team man. I'm stuck on my user. He's gonna throw right at me again. Cover two man in the red zone is insanely good, by the way. And we have to score, because if not, we are at risk of a rage quit. People like I am cheesy, they, they, they make mutt interesting this time of year. All right, let's get it. Okay. Hopefully, we can actually do something on offense, because I am cheesy kind of be bagging. I'm going to go to this. That's a touchdown. Hopefully. Please catch it. Just catch it. Just catch it, please. Thank you. <laughs> and just like that, we're back, boys. With a big boy dot. Against I am cheesy. It's people like cheesy that make... The, it's people like cheesy that prevent people from being off meta. When you're out here running these random plays, sometimes you just got to go to Bunch Strong and throw a wheel route. All right, boys, hope we can get a stop here. Kind of reverse the tide because the offense spotted him 14. After the defense got a stop. Oh, and the special team spotted him seven. This, this, this is wild. And he's doing it to me in Eagle Stadium, too. I am sorry. I'm sorry, Cheesy. Let's see if he goes for two. It's been working for him. He's one of two. All right, this time we'll actually set up we'll set up six for one for them for this guy because we know Cheesy. He's gonna go for it. We know how he we know how people like Cheesy get down. He's gonna roll out. Here we go. Here we go. This is the this is the this is the scheme he wants to be in. This is it, boys. This is the scheme. Throw the wheel route right at my guy. He's right there. Instead of picking it up and taking it for two, he just makes the tackle. All right, boys, let's see if we can go get seven. Let's see. You know you know what's never happened to me? I don't think my special teams has run a kickback all year long. But we know that big, big boy Cheesy over here, he, he's out here balling. You see Bo Jackson, it just doinks off his head. Just can't get it done. You know, I'm pretty bad at special teams, though, so – I understand. I understand it's the way it is. Okay. Let's get into the plays here, and hopefully he'll stop calling cover zero every play. And he's going to blitz his whole team at me. I'm going to jurtle out of there. And Cheesy just got cheesed. Cheesy just got cheesed. We get seven. See this? I mean, we just we just blitzed the whole team. He literally just bl he blitzed his entire roster, his entire defensive team just blitzed. That's what happens when you play people like Cheesy. They just do stuff, and it's hard to explain why they do what they do. And you're just sitting there asking, left asking questions, and maybe you should just go to bunch strong. All right, so fourteen twenty, we got to get a stop. Hopefully, the special teams can tackle. Uh, that would be a that would be a positive. Uh, we get a hit stick, and big Cam Chancellor just laid the wood on Tyree Kill, and unfortunately, now, because of the way Cheesy has been playing so far, I don't think he's even had a snap on, on offense, but we're going to play a little different style of dollar for this guy, uh, just because of what we've seen so far from our boy Cheesy. Oh, He's getting the double Mabel, kind of more passive defense, because I guarantee you, a guy with the name I'm Cheesy, he's probably going to throw at least three picks. So we're going to be in DB fire until he makes us get out of it. And we're going to be sitting in this little double flat. There's a double post. And there we go. Cheesy throws the ball to Big Chuck. And now we got a chance to go tie or take the lead 
And the reason why we can go take the lead is because we didn't go for two because we're not cheesy enough. All right, here we go. Let me just quick hike him and see what happens. He's probably blitzing his whole team again. And that should be a touchdown. Yes, sir. All right, we're back. Let's see if he keeps doing that. We'll see if he keeps doing that, boys. So, you see, I mean, trip side in does have a lot more power. I really prefer to throw the ball underneath and really take advantage of the short game. But when you're playing somebody like what he's doing, so, and, and again, like jokes aside, he's bringing the safeties down. He's given a very aggressive look. Would they do that? Oftentimes, they're really going to be susceptible to something over the top. Now, if he was bringing the safeties down and doing a bunch of adjustments and was actually playing some coverage behind it, that would be uh, – and I'll show, I'll show you here. I'll show you on this drive, actually. If he comes out in bunch, he's probably he's probably going to go to this now. But this, this, this is going to be fine. So I'll do what he's doing. So you come out in double safety, right? Now, if he was doing what I'm doing here, where you're actually setting up like a legitimate coverage behind it, then you would be able to run some of the stuff that I wanted to run in the game and what I ran last game. But because we're just getting sent five every time or sent six every time, it kind of changes how you call plays. It kind of changes the, the vulnerabilities of the defense, right? Because he's just trying to basically cover the quick stuff and then, and then go. So, and, and there he is throwing the ball to the wrong team again. Big Chuck out there leading the block. And now we get the red zone trip. All right. So kind of interested to see what he does defensively. I think this is – I mean, he just can't – he probably can't stop this play right here. And there was so much open. Brady's going to get out of there. Brady's going to juke. Brady's going to give all he has. I should not have juked. <laughs> I just juked with Tom Brady. And it didn't work out for me. I'm shocked I didn't fumble the ball. All right, big bow. I should have dared, should have dared to do that. Yeah, running gun trips or Bill's trips is definitely better than – New England. I was just thinking I might run some U trips, but when you get into a game with a guy named I'm Cheesy, you ain't running U trips. You can't run. You can't. You can't. You have to be in in, in something that's actually like good. U trips is good, but it's not good against some. It's not good against this stuff because this is like just the most random. I mean, look at the alignment of his defense. It's all off. Like he's gonna give your basic stuff up, such as the dive, the the verticals, the streak, all of that stuff is available to you. And and basically, when you play somebody with the name I'm Cheesy, you got to let them beat themselves, right? Same thing with the guy before me. You got to let them beat themselves a little bit. So that's, an, that's another element that's kind of important to uh, talk about because you will play people like this. Um, you'll play people. And he's not even necessarily – like he's running a mainstream defense. Like I have an ebook on the defense he's running. But, like, it's a good defense. But the way he's running it is he's basically just running the Sun 5 out of a man coverage nonetheless. Not the best idea, right? So, you can that's a mix-in. You wouldn't want to do that every time. Because it's – and the reason why is because it's not set up to, to stop the majority of things that you're going to face, right? And as I'm bragging, Cheesy just pops me with Calvin. Big Joe Alt might be cut after that. Big Joe could not get it done. And this is the drawback. Again, you see how I bring the safety down? And now that fades open. So, yes, you see here. So, All right. Let's see how we do here, boys. I actually don't have a good coverage. But we're going to roll with it. He's going to roll out with Vic. And that was pretty bad defense for me. I should have, uh, I should not have been in that coverage. And somehow we're tied. This has been a dog fight. But Big Cheese, he's throwing us two picks. And here we sit. Now I think Cheesy's good for one more pick. I really do. I think he's good for one more pick. He might get mad and leave. And I also think he's going to stop blitzing if he wants to win this game. So kind of anticipating that. All right, I think he's going to stop blitzing here. Nope. I don't even know what that zone is. I had to tight end for a touchdown. Well, whatever, we'll juke out of there. I don't know what Harris is doing. I don't know how I didn't score. All 
I wish this route to Michael Irvin would be better. I'm going to throw it. So right there he goes to, I think that was cover two man. One of the things that people don't realize is you can move your receiver. I mean, it sounds silly, but you can cut the ball off and at least give yourself a chance to add back to the ball. So that's, that's what we did right there. Trying to rely on angry runs a little bit to my man Bo over the middle for the big touchdown. Unfortunately, he didn't get it done. So we go back to it and make him have to stop this in a spread D-line dollar look. Cheesy's not going to be able to get the job done whenever we talk and spread D-line. It's another thing that people like, like they just don't, again, you can pinch your D-line on a dollar, and you probably have a better chance of stopping that run than if you don't. So now we just got to get one more stop, and we're going to be a little bit more mindful of what he was doing. The simple solution uh, to that play is just leave the safety backed off. That's all you have to do. And that's one of the disadvantages of bringing the safeties down like that is they can get burned specifically in spread formations. That heavy box or like that double safety go, whatever you want to call it, defense, is really good against compression. Uh, the way that you would want to run this, and I'll actually go ahead and do it because I want to see if I can get him to do it uh, again here. This is where you, you'd want to get into something like this, where you can – it's the same exact look, but we're playing cover three from it. And the safety, uh, that, that is, you're always going to be able to get back on the ball. So they're not going to be able to get over the top of you like they would previously, uh, but they are going to be able to throw corner routes if they wait for it, right, if they wait for it. I'll show you another defense I like. So now he goes back to bunch. But this is still pretty good coverage. Kind of threw his defense right back at him a little bit. But, again, the way he's playing – Free safety, just the stock free safety zone blitz is a pretty good option. Another really good option for how he's playing is what I'm about to do to him out of the spinner. Uh, the reason I utilize spinner for this is it's just a little bit better in terms of alignment, and the blitz comes in a little faster than out of free safety zone blitz. When you're running the dollar or when you're running the A-gap from a pinch look. So you see how I'm pinching here? That's, that's the key. We go. We're gonna send a lot of heat. Try to get the stop. Wasn't able to. He actually gets out of there with Travis. Good read. Good read from Big Big Cheesy. And we got the fade. We got that. We're taking that away. Good defense. Big Micah Parsons playing some ball in here. This is where, like I said, you know, you can kind of you can kind of adapt this a little bit, but. That outside third should get back on that fade. I know he's going to try to throw that, but that outside third gets back a little better than that deep half is going to, uh, which is which is another little key uh, to this. Now, another thing that we can do, nice see here, he's going to go to bunch. So what I like to do against that is I'm going to put that free safety zone blitz in my audibles, and we're just going to check into that and literally just leave it stock or vert hook in half because the blitz comes in really fast out of this. And we force him to have to check down, get a massive hit on ETN. And we get him into a fourth down situation where, you know, pretty much anything can happen from there. So he's going to go to trips tight end. So just kind of anticipating his play calls here. What we're going to do, I'm trying to think here. We are going to go to free safety zone blitz. And we're going to play kind of some man. Kind of shade down man here, trying to take away anything quick. Force him to throw. And I don't know how you complete that. that again, big the, the big boys might be off the squad after what we're seeing them do here on this game. Uh, we might be done with the big boys. All right. So uh, right here, actually a great play call by him. And, and I'm in a terrible D. I'm going to have to call timeout. I'm going to have to call timeout. I'm going to have to kind of regroup. We got to regroup here, play some red zone D, and we got to be a little bit more basic in our red zone approach. Uh, so we're gonna go verticals, boom, 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 run the ball. Got got a glowing running back like I do, and now we're in a third and goal. Another thing that people like Cheesy do that is important to talk about: they snap the ball ridiculously fast. Okay, so you got to be kind of set up, which is hard. Uh, in in six one because there is kind of a lot of adjustments, and then we 
we knew that was coming. We didn't stop it. And he's out here running these little glitch plays. Big cheesy, being cheesy. I hope he goes for two because we're going to be ready for it this time. It's pretty decent. It's pretty deep. Pretty good. Running at the quarterback. He throws right at my user again. I'm going to step behind. Yeah, cheesy. The score is 35 to 36 in the first half. Cheesy plays at a different pace. He plays at a different pace. Again, I keep hitting circle the wrong way, so Bo Jackson just looks at the ball. All right, we got to get seven. And I think we get bought half, so we're not in a terrible spot here. There's that ag back to the ball that I was talking about. So what that does is it even if even if I don't catch the ball, I'm never going to throw an interception, right? So, and actually, I think my man, uh, I mean, my man Cheesy might be might be allowing me to actually run a real offense now. Let's see. Make my quick reads. Boom, boom. Tight end, wide open. I throw it late. Ugh. The pain. And like randomly runs shaded down man after calling zone. This is just uh This is just something else. Something else, brothers. There's shaded down man. And we got a little touchdown over the middle. Let's see if we can Oh, we just got shamed. Uh, oh my gosh, boys. Cheesy out here just the deep halves play everything. The deep pass play everything. Oh, look at Valdez Scantling. And the fact that I almost caught that is insane. Valdez Scantling needs to go sit down and think about what he just did to me because that was the worst, the worst streak I've ever seen. He did not run that ball. He did not run that well, that route very well at all. All right, so let's go to drive. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to verticals. He's probably going to run man coverage again. Um, so we're going to rock. A skinny post from that outside receiver. Uh, and we see here it's going to beat that press man super nicely. And it's then not going to get open. And this shaded down man is insane. But because he has no pressure, we're going to go ahead and dot him up with a little route bounce. This is ridiculous what I am playing. Boys, I have not seen this terrible defense actually work in a minute. Shade down man again. My man, St. Brown, replacing MVS, and he's out there getting open. This is why shorter players are better. If you are not utilizing shorter players, you should probably get on the train because as you see what's happening to me in this game, shorter players are, are much, 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 much better. All right, we're going to go a little motion in. Going to go ahead and block this receiver across the formation. And my man Cheesy is going to give up the corner route again, and we are going to throw it to him, score a touchdown, but Madden's going to cheat us, and it's not going to let us score. And so now all I'm left to do is just go to Verts out a bunch because Verts out a bunch literally can never, ever, 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 ever be stopped. And you will see right here that he's not going to guard the tight end. The tight end's going to always be open, and we're going to throw an easy dot. Now we're going to go to Verticals out of trips and he's going to run shaded down man and we are going to be able to scramble out of here with brady he's going to miss the tackle elusive tom brady in for a touchdown and we're back on top boys and we just got to get a stop in the second half and this game is going to be ggs my man cheesy now what do you call here 15 seconds left in the half he has two timeouts and if he does get a field goal it does matter so we have 411 total yards of offense, along to go with two interceptions, and somehow are still winning the game. So all we have to do is get out of half, but we're playing cheesy. And we know that cheesy is pretty cheesy. So we got to get a stop here. We're going to go back to kind of our base. I'm kind of tired of messing around with this guy. He can't beat this coverage, so we're going to go to it. A little double flat, make him have to do something with Michael Vick. He's going to throw right at Big Joe. Big Joe drops the pick, even though he has pick artist. Pick artist is irrelevant. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work, boys. It just doesn't work. All right, here we go. Now, the key is crashing your line inside and pass committee. I did not pass commit there, which sucks. 
But you see here, he's going to throw right at my user again. My KO is not going to KO. There's his timeout. And we're going to have to figure something, something out, boys. All right, here we go. Empty base flex for the bread. Um, duh, 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 duh. We're going to just run standard DB fire two. And I need to middle third that guy. There we go. Backed off 30s. Boom. Great defense. Okay, we got our stop. So now we're going to go into half. We should get the ball out of half. And guess what I think Cheesy's going to do? He's probably going to run shade down man coverage. And I'm probably going to throw verticals for a touchdown. As long as the deep half does not play out of his mind like he's been playing out of his mind. All right, 36-42. I get ball. Actually, I don't get ball. Or do I get ball? I don't know because Cheesy is taking forever. I don't get ball. After all of that, I don't get the ball? That's not good, boys. <sighs> Cheesy. Gosh, buddy. All right, so now we got to go get a real stop. We can't even just outscore him. That's not good. So we're going to test the – how good is the dollar D, boys? How good is it? Whenever you're playing somebody and they're in pistol east tight, you know it's about to be a dog fight. All right, here we go. And he's going to run the ball. And he's off right tackle. 20-yard carry for Travis. He just literally shamed my defense. Okay, we're going to play a little better defense than that. Hopefully, we don't see pistol east tight for the rest of the game. Good, he's in trip side and flex. Just what I hoped. All right, we might actually have a chance of a stop right here. Boom. Bag. Throw back across your body. Throw right there. That's a KO. He lit up, and he didn't drop the ball. I just lost. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We're here, we're here, we're here. Take that away. Take that away. Throw right back to me. Back. This Mylotta is the worst user of all time. I'm going to have to get rid of him. I'm going to have to get him off the, off the squad. He can't get it done. I cannot back off my guy. Oh, I just got shamed. And he throws right at me, and I still can't KO it. What the heck is going on? Dude, This. look at this game. Look at this game glitching me. I'm literally getting shamed. I can't move. I'm frozen. I'm frozen in time. As he throws a touchdown. That's insane. That's insane. I'm literally pulling my hair out. That is ridiculous. People like this deserve to get shamed. This is why. Oh, my goodness, boys. This is not good. This is not good. We're just going to have to. We're just going to have to get a stop. We're just going to have to find a way. I'm taking the quarterback. I'm done with this quarterback stuff. Yeah, Big Joe finally redeemed himself. Jurtle out of there, Joe. All right, 42-42. We're locked. Cheesy comes out, gets a score. Now he's onside kicking. Lord help us. Mr. Koo, the kicker. If you had somebody that wasn't named Koo, you probably would have recovered that. But you got Koo at the kicker position. Not the move, in my opinion. If you have Big Pat over there, you'd probably recover that kick. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're going to get shade down, man, first play. And we do, and I can't throw the touchdown. Golly, man. Just getting shamed out here. Just getting cheesed is what happened. That's what happened. Cheesy is being freaking cheesy, boys. All right, we're just going to run the ball. We're just going to make things easy on ourselves. We're going to run the ball. We're out of there. Big Bo. Doing what Bo does. All right, here we go, boys. This is it. Can we get it done? He's probably going to blitz right here, so I'm going to block my running back. He blitzed right here. I blocked my running back. I threw a touchdown. It's a bean, boys. Can we get a stop on a cheese man? The cheese man has really got some uh, – this guy's different. He's different. He's out here in pistol east tight, hitting me with the stretch. Then he comes out and trips tight and flex a literal glitch formation where you can't back off your corner. And then you're just left to come down and you just fight through it. Not the game I was expecting, but the game I needed, boys. Boom. My Lada making up for his terrible performance in that first drive. This is a guy that might we might need to go to 6-1 for him. 
Although I think Dollar can stop him. I'm just like just baffled at how he's playing. Like look look at these calls. Look at what he's running. He just ran inside zone from wing tight. Why would you call it ever? Like You know why? Because I can't back off my freaking players. So look at that. My defense is glitched. <sighs> we got to figure it out. Uh, we got to figure that out, boys. I honestly think just because of how he's playing and because of how random these formations are, we're just going to have to do something like this right here. Boom. I don't know how that run works. I don't I don't know how that run works. Oh, I took my user off the blitz. Man. My boy's cheesy. This is this is our stop right here. You can feel you can feel this getting away from him. All right, I'm not going to guard the crosser because I think I'm going to try to let this mid regard it. I'm just taking that right there. Boom. Nice. Look at Did you see my cloud flat just blitz? Did my zone drops off? I just called a play with my zone drops off. Shame. No wonder it didn't work. <laughs> all right, that's not cool. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, boys. I can't back the guy off. I can't. He's going to – oh, I got to run out there. Oh, with my KO, just please KO. This guy is – it's like playing a bot. This is, this is the definition of playing a literal bot. Look at him throw that corner. Look at this player. This is – we got to find a way, boys. We got to find a way. We got to find a way. We got to find a way. Here we go. Here we go. This is it right here. This is the D. This is the D. It's going to bag. It's going to bag. It's going to bag. It's going to bag. He threw the ball right to me. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. The rail. Freaking cheese that, buddy. Let's go. There it is. And there it is, boys. And there it is. Guess what he's going to do? Guess what he's going to do? Guess what he's going to do? He's going to blitz everybody. I guarantee you he blitzes everybody. And I got shamed. <sighs> We're so close, but so far away. The cheese, man. He likes to blitz his whole team. Ah, we got him right here. We got him right here. There it is. That's a tutty. That's a dot. He don't have KOs. He don't have KOs. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go. You know, I might have been able to call that combo all game and win. And I just now found it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cheesy just bagged everybody on the field. Don't worry, Big Tom. Big Tom putting the team on his back. The fact that Tom Brady has four rushes for 41 yards, that's when you know you're playing a man that's cheesy. You know, this is not the game we thought we'd be in, but it's the game we needed, boys. The grit development that Cheesy offers us today. You you can't make this up. Here we go. Dollar. I'm going to juke inside. I have angry runs. There's a reason I have angry runs. It's so that I break that tackle right there. All right, here we go. 49-42. If I score, I bet you he quits. Can we get it done? The Cheese man. Juke inside. Angry runs. Fighting through it. There it is. Touchdown. The Cheese man says, see you. In the kingdom. Thanks for watching, boys. If you want to get the ebooks, link is in the description below.